morning hello everybody um it's valerie ling i am a clinical psychologist and uh well really today's post is about entrepreneurship so i will say that i'm a business owner and embracing the entrepreneurial side to uh my personality and i wanted to come and chat with you about entrepreneurial kids entrepreneurial kids um don't you love them <laughs> i would say that i came late to the party in actually making a reality of uh some entrepreneurial ideas and i wanted to share with you if i could turn back time if i could turn back the clock uh, perhaps what i would say to my younger self in terms of having an entrepreneurial mindset and personality and maybe by sharing that if you're a parent of entrepreneurial kids this might actually give you something to think about so three things about entrepreneurial kids that um i would love to go back in time and tell the people in my world that this is what you're going to be feeling and that everything is going to be okay number one entrepreneurial kids will scare you they're frightening because you cannot predict just what they are going to do. A bit of a back scene story. So as a kid, they, one of the roles, um, if you've been following me, you'll know that primary school was not a shining time for me. Uh, many teachers refused to teach me. And um, I just learned the art of saying sorry uh, all the time, just apologizing. And I think it's largely because I probably just freaked out my teachers who found it really difficult to get me to conform because it helped them to feel safe, you know, if I was following the rules. Uh, so there's this memory that I have of myself as a kid um well first of all i turned up to the first day of school with things that i thought i should be doing at school i figured that's what an education was all about i was all of six and i thought well i know there are books but then there are all these hobbies that i'm exploring i'll just bring them to school because i'm pretty sure that's what school is about i have another memory at primary school where i was given a job to do and it was actually i think to keep me in line um, I was meant to learn to serve others and uh, back then in primary school, it was in a different country, you had this situation where you, you know, you just set up the table and I think it was to teach us uh, mathematics, it was about actually um, learning how to add like dollars and cents and so we were meant to make these cardboard things like, um, you know, props if you like of erasers and pencils and pens or, 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 or books or whatever and then there were these tokens right like of you know okay if someone if this thing costs 50 cents and you actually um give a dollar how much change so, you know that was the whole thing and maybe it was meant to keep me occupied i have no idea but i just have this flashback memory of a particular moment in that story piece where it occurred to me that i could sell real things and I have this vivid memory of taking one of my old erasers, like, you know, this, like it's like that, and how it gets all rounded and chipped and dirty, and just cleaning it, <laughs> cleaning it, you know, making it look really good, and then cutting it up into these perfect square sizes and going off the grid and deciding that, well, why use tokens when you can actually teach people with real money? and selling these things right so selling my used stationery for real money that must be must have been profoundly scary for my teachers i don't even know if my parents got a whiff of that uh, that's the kind of mindset that entrepreneurial entrepreneurial kids are going to have they will scare you because these ideas pop into their head like nobody tells them where to get these they're not being naughty their little brains are just developing spaces of possibilities. Our entrepreneurial kids, number two, will test you. They will test you. They will test you. So entrepreneurial parents probably give rise to entrepreneurial kids. Um, my two children test me. I have one that is particularly out of the box, particularly out of the box. Um, nothing is going to be a boundary or a limit, right? Because at the heart of it, these kids, they, they take risks, not in terms of, uh, you know, like how necessarily 
intentionally wanting to have harm to themselves, but their brains are probably just wired to explore possibilities. My highly entrepreneurial kid, um, when they were little, really scared me because they created a whole world for themselves. And in that world, they actually created a set of rules for the city and how people would interact. And in their world, people flew like they could fly and you no longer needed um, modes of transportation. And because they were so little, they didn't understand that their imagination and their reality didn't quite sink and that laws of physics and gravity do come into play. Um, and I remember having to say to them, and they were so, so little, um, kind of having to take them back and show them how aircrafts were invented and the beta testing that was involved and the years that was needed to actually refine the ideas. Um, so, you know, they will test you because it's not like my entrepreneurial kid actually accepted my explanation at that point in time. We did, however, need to create some spaces. And so what we actually landed up doing, and this is a bit of a um, uh, <laughs> sore point in the family storyline, is I actually allowed that child to draw on the walls, their city and, um, well, their modes of transportation. It's like, why not? Okay, go for it. Do it safely on the walls. Entrepreneurial kids will be faster than you. They are going to be quicker than you. And this is going to unnerve you. And you are going to feel the need to put them in their place. When they look at something and they've come up with a shortcut or a solution that um, seems really bizarre and wild, and they're connecting with people faster than the speed of the speed of light, you are going to probably want to feel like you want to control them, like you want to put them back in the box. Well, here's the thing. They are always going to be faster, 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 right? Um, I'm really fast, I overwhelm people. <laughs> and today um, I had a lovely message feedback from um, a person whom I'm working with at the moment who basically said that is an observation and not a judgment. You are fast, it's an observation, it's not a judgment. This is why probably having triple espresso shots during my day is not really a good idea. Instant coffee is really good enough for me. Don't try to put them back in a box. Set the parameters though. So here are my top tips for you. I've got five. Number one, keep an open mind because entrepreneurial kids are just playing in the playground of possibilities. They just are, they're just discovering things about themselves that they see themselves in uh, and they see possibilities in a really different way. Number two, set the boundaries, but don't let the boundaries be um, things where you 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 insist they conform they do need to toe the line so make sure your boundaries are set based on your values and your morals and ethical thinking and help them to figure out how they can find what those boundaries are how do they know um, let them question those boundaries let them have an inquiring mind because entrepreneurial kids grow up to be entrepreneurial adults who must explore the limits of possibilities and then filter through uh, limitations, not on possibilities, but limitations in terms of moralities and ethics um, and values, whether this is something that is aligned to how they live. Number three, have a growth plan for your, uh, with your, with, not for your entrepreneurial kids. So a growth plan for your entrepreneur, just checking, because I've got to send kids to school today. I'm doing them a favor. It is pretty miserable. Uh, not a growth plan as in, oh, I remember like having, you know, <laughs> because I had to write so many apology letters, um, I had to learn to type, you know, back in the typewriter. And so my my mom um and i'm very grateful for this uh taught me to touch type and tried to teach me to take shorthand and things like that i mean these are great things growth plans though for entrepreneurial kids just means that you listen in to the latest interests and you say well let's figure out how you can explore that this term 
okay? How can you explore that this term? And you need to allow them to go out of the box. Sometimes they're going to say to you, well, I actually want to take time off school and go and do this. Sometimes they're going to say to you, I need to watch YouTube or M-rated videos so that I can... Now, there are boundaries with that. You cannot take time off school. However, weekends, um, in the company of yourself, uh, is there a way they can go visit a friend's workplace? Can they set up shop at home? Can they have a little experimental messy space somewhere in the house where they just go for it? All right. So uh, entrepreneurial kids need some opportunities to test it out, uh, whether they are selling things online with, 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 you know, with your guidance and with your safety, whether they're actually uh, learning how to trade stuff. Why not? Number four, uh, let them get comfortable with numbers. Okay, so here's the thing. You may not agree. You may disagree. Um, and that's okay. One of the things I am really grateful for is my dad, who is was a banker, got me comfortable with numbers from day dot, right? Not being interested in mathematics or statistics really is not much of a thing. If you're going to be an entrepreneurial adult and if you're going to be an entrepreneurial uh, kid, you must respect the numbers. You must not be avoidant or afraid and have an anaphylactic reaction to numbers. You have to get comfortable with it. But here's the thing. It's not about numbers ruling you. It's about how numbers have a relationship with commerce and the economy. Right. So talk to them as you're going out to shops. Talk to them about how money is being traded. When you're sitting in a cafe and you're looking at interesting things, talk to them about how do you think these things got to be? What are some of the processes that probably needed to happen so that they could have all these pretty lovely things in there? Uh, what does it mean to invest? What does it mean to have insurance? Talk to them about the daily things that numbers play a part of, right? Don't just put them in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, yes, that's part of it. But get them really um, comfortable being around numbers and economics and balances and the way that things uh, trade. Talk to them about these things in the environment. Number five, apparently I wrote go away. I have no idea what I meant by that. See, I'm now taking to writing them on post-its because I forget all my pretty wonderful three points five points go away i assume that meant that you need to go away no idea let them be let them dream uh let them do fantastic mind maps and charts if you have a wall that they can do that on all the better right let them have a space where conformity isn't an issue where innovation and creativity and taking risks and then you know what just marvel just marvel just tell them how incredibly different they are how incredibly amazing um they, their ideas are um ask them what they're thinking what they're watching be interested be invested in their world because entrepreneurial kids at the end of the day will become entrepreneurial adults who need to know that someone's got their back not, not someone auditing their ideas. They don't need that. Let me tell you, they're auditing their ideas. Um, they need to know that they can come back and ask some tough questions about themselves and their ideas and what the, where they're going and fundamentally be told, I believe in you. And when you say that statement, I believe in you, you've got this. Um, it's not my favorite statement, by the way, that you've got this thing. It's because like, what evidence do you have that I've got this? And that's the thing. If you spend time with entrepreneurial kids and you're invested and interested in their ideas from when they're little, they will believe you when you say, I've seen you go through this phase before. I've seen you go through this. Uh, this is typically what tends to happen. That's why I believe in you. And I know you've got this. All right. It's time to send kids to school. Cheerio. Take care.